guys today we're gonna do a video that I actually have never done and so I'm kind of excited because I like watching other people do it it's monthly favorites all right so basically I'm just gonna tell you about everything that I have been using consistently in March and give you my thoughts on it I will list everything that I'm talking about down below in the description bar so and hopefully I'll put them in order I'll try and put them in order yeah so these are my March favorites let's get into it okay first I want to talk about skincare I have two one is the and you guys have heard me talk about this a million times already the organic wear 100% natural brightening booster oil elixir from physicians formula and the second one I found at Ross it's um, the brand is advanced clinicals it's the retinol anti-wrinkle serum potent anti-wrinkle concentrate and I love this one for hydrating. This one is like completely hydrating and is amazing. And I'll use that morning and night. At nighttime, I'll do about five drops. In the morning, I'll do about three. Okay, and this one is not hydrating. It's kind of like a milky consistent, consistent, consistency. It's just supposed to help with wrinkles. My skin has been feeling really great lately, and so it might just be the combination of the two. Uh, we're gonna go with my foundations. I have been using two foundations pretty consistently this month, and the first one is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and the second one is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. And in this one, in the Wet n Wild one, I'm the color Soft Beige, and in the color stay whipped i am in the color 220 nude um this one is has a really natural finish like i wouldn't it's like satin i would it's like skin finish i wouldn't say it's matte or luminous and it kind of it comes in a little pot and it's like thick and whipped i really like this one i feel like this is an oldie but a goodie i really like it and this one i feel pretty much the same thing like i really love this foundation it really does blur your lines and makes your skin look perfect this is the one i'm wearing today and I just really love it. The only thing I don't love about it is the smell. I mean, if you open a straight up paint can when you're painting your house or painting something, that's exactly what this smells like is paint. But I still use it. It doesn't like, I can't smell it throughout the day. It's just when I initially put it on. But I still use it because I really, really like it. I love the finish of it. All right, on to the next, let's do the concealer. So I've been trying a new concealer and I am in love with it. It is the Sephora brand. And I don't really use a lot of Sephora brands, but I heard this one is really hydrating. Gel Serum Concealer, Bright Future. I got the lightest one in Bavarian Cream. This is like super, super, super brightening. So I will, I'll put this uh, like, right here and then I'll put a little bit of a darker concealer just out outer corner just so it's not like crazy brightening. I need to get a shade darker but I just haven't yet but it is actually really nice and really hydrating and like full coverage. It's that thin consistency that's easily blendable and I'm really enjoying it and it is really good for dry eyes. I have dry under eyes and I don't find that this is drying at all so I really like it. Okay, next we're gonna do bronzer. So I have a problem with my bronzer breaking up on me right here and right here. It just like throughout the day will start to look super patchy and I've tried a lot of bronzers and I've even tried, like I researched and they were like, oh, well maybe you need to put powder on because I don't wear powder. So I even like put some powder on and then put my bronzer on and it still just was not do looking well. It was just looking patchy and muddy and just throughout the day it looked like crap. But I heard Tati, the glam life guru, talk about the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powders and she got one and it was too dark so she used it as a bronzer and it is amazing. Like my, it just blends perfectly and I had never really thought about using a, like a pressed powder as my bronzer and it doesn't look that dark but when you're blending it on the skin it actually does, it actually dark, like deepens. This is the darkest shade that they had at my store. So I, I mean I would like to get a little bit of a darker one but it did bronze and I contoured with it a little bit and it worked perfectly and it blends perfectly and it's not muddy and I absolutely love it. Give this a try if you're having problems with your bronzer. Try the Wet n Wild Photo Focused Pressed Powder and I got the color Warm Beige. Okay so for blush, I've been using two blushes quite consistently. I've been kind of sticking to a warm tone peach and one of them is the Balm Frat Boy. You know, the thing that I like about the Balm 
is it, it stays on for a, quite a long time and I like that and the other one I've been using is a very very natural blush but it's one of my favorite blushes ever and it's of course wet n wild because you know me and wet n wild the bombs frat boy and apricot in the middle so they're kind of in the same shade but that's just the colors i've been going for lately and i love them both this is the one i'm wearing today on my cheeks just right here you can build it up to be a little brighter or you can just leave it natural it's one of my all-time favorite blushes all right next is highlighter we're gonna talk about two highlighters because i use them as a combo but i've been using the essence pure nude highlighter and be my highlight this one is super nice, super finely milled, and you can see it. It's very pigmented, like you're getting a lot with it. It's a really great product. I love it when the drugstore comes out with products that are like just as amazing as high-end. I love that. So what I've been doing to kind of amp it up is I will put this on, and then I will take this next highlighter, and this is called this... I'm going to slaughter this name. Citier, Citier London Dewy Stick. I'll show you guys. So the Citier London Dewy Stick. So basically what this is, is it's just a clear stick and you rub it on and it's just supposed to make you look wet. Can you guys, I don't even know if you can see it. It's right there. But, and it, alone it does look really pretty. But what I will do is I'll just kind of rub my finger on it and I will dab it on top of my highlighter, like on top of it. So it basically gives my highlighter a wet look and it's amazing the only thing is is to be very very gentle with this because it's very sticky and so it can tend to pull off your foundation so I just barely put a little bit on and then just tap 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 along my um, cheekbone and I love that I love these two combos it just amps it up and it doesn't amp it up with sparkle or with like you know, super shine. It just amps it, amps it up by making it look a little wet. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about my favorite brush of all time. So I did a pretty large Morphe brush order. I was curious to see if they were really as good as people said they were. And I believe for the price they are as good. I wouldn't say they're as good as Sigma brushes. And that's what I generally use, like Sigma or Mac. But for the price of the brushes, you are getting a pretty good brush. So what I ordered, my favorite brush for them is the Morphe R40. Now this is what I will say, I ordered one, which was this like domey, really fluffy brush. And um, the reason why I like it is because it has all these short hairs. So it's like tapered. It's got short hairs and then the, it comes to a point, right? So when you're putting it in your crease and blending, the little hairs on the outside are blending as well. Like it's all blending seamlessly. Now I loved it so much that I ordered a second one within a week. And I have to say it's not consistent. I'll show you guys and hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this brush right here was the second one I ordered. And if you can see, this one's all fluffy and round and it stays consistently round as I turn it. It's just round and fluffy. This one is like... Thin. you see how it goes thin it's like more of a it goes like that so they are not consistent I still like it and I feel like it's a little softer this one's a little softer and not as full um, so I don't think their brushes are consistent but they're still great I think their brushes are like $5.99 it's an amazing brush I'm gonna talk about my eyes my eyeshadows. I pulled out my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which I love, and I've been doing the same eye look consistently. So I've been using three colors. I've been using Puree Summer Yum and then Candied Peach. So this one right here and these two. And then what I will do, I'll put the two brown shades in my crease and then I'll put the peach all over my lid. And then what I will do is take my new favorite things, which is the Stila Magnificent Metals. And this one is in rose gold. And I will put it all over the lid. I'll put it all over my lid with like a MAC 242. It's seriously so pretty. And the fallout is not crazy. It's literally just become one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. Like I use it all the time. I have a couple other ones and I'll finish an eyeshadow and I'll be like, oh, it just needs a little glitter and I'll just kind of pop it on. All right, last things is my lip combo is what I'm wearing today is MAC Cream Sheen in Modesty. 
It's just a perfect brown mauve. And then I will top it to brighten it up a little bit. Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Trailblazer, which is like a apricot color. As I love the smell of these. It's chocolate mint. It smells amazing. So here's the two products that I've been using. That's Modesty and then the Trailblazer from Mar Marvelous Moxie. That is what I've been wearing basically all month. Um, and I think I might continue to wear them, but I, I have to go back into my makeup stash and pull out new things all the time because I'll just get stuck doing the same eye look over and over again. That's what I've been wearing consistently of this month. Again, I will list everything down below in the down bar, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!